Hey guys, my name is Jeff. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through my everyday carry backpack. What I keep in it, whether I'm using it for personal use, professional use, or doing a little bit of traveling. I'll take you through each item, sort of how I use it, what I like about it, what I don't like about it maybe. Um, so if you like these sorts of videos, make sure you like this, subscribe, and then comment below about you know some of the things that you'd change or some of the things that you keep in your everyday carry. Let's just get into it. All right, so first things first, let's start with the backpack itself. So this is a Yeti Crossroads uh, 22 liter in the, I believe it's called the Alpine Brown colorway. It's kind of like an FDE, you know, sort of tan color. It's a really cool color. This is by far my favorite backpack that I've ever owned. It's made out of this really high quality nylon material. So it's very durable, pretty scuff resistant. The build quality is just, I mean, I have like a $400 hunting backpack. That's, this is right up there with that. It's got these really heavy duty zippers. As you can see here, you got one zipper on each side. You can access the inside on that one. And then this side is access to where you keep your water bottle. There's a water bottle pocket right inside there. Um, it's got these two exterior straps, obviously. Um, you can shift them up or down. They have these removable hooks. Um, these are really great for, you know, you can stick a jacket in there, you can stick a tripod in there, you can stick really anything in there and cinch it down, or, you know, you can just compress your backpack itself by just tightening it up. And then it's got this top pocket up here. Um, I really like this pocket because, for one, it's super easy to access from your point of view, but, you know, if you're standing on a train or in a bus or in the airport or whatever, it's not super obvious that there's a pocket up there and if somebody was trying to access it just for security reasons, it's up there right by your head. So less likelihood of somebody getting in there and, you know, s snagging something real quick. But that pretty much covers most of the outside. It's got really comfortable straps. Um, they don't look like they would be, but they're surprisingly comfortable. It's got two handles on either side, which is honestly not something that I thought that I would like as much as I actually do. But now that I have them, I can't imagine a backpack not having them. Yeah, we got a luggage pass through right here, which is super useful if you're traveling. Obviously, you can just stick it straight on your suitcase, roll it around the airport or uh, you know whatnot. But it's got some loops up front too. You can strap things to. You can see I got a peak design capture clip right there for my camera. This thing's really great. You can just have you know an attachment that screws into the bottom of your camera. Camera just clips in here, and then it's got this quick release button that you just slide it off. Um, it's great for traveling around airport you're out on a walk whatever it is i also threw it on my hunting backpack when i'm out hunting or hiking this thing's been one of my favorite recent additions for sure i think that pretty much covers most of everything then obviously the main pocket right up here so yeah this is one of my favorite parts of the bag honestly to me it's one of the most useful things and it's got this flip top so you can open the bag and then you flip the top open and it almost makes it like a bucket style sort of bag so it's super easy to access you know it just hangs open like that and uh kind of gets out of your way when you're trying to get in the bag um so that's really great it's got a pocket there which we'll get into it's got one more pocket right inside here which we will also get into and then it's got a water bottle pocket on the inside and then a laptop sleeve and a tablet sleeve which is super nice and uh on the inside of here it's like this really really high quality thick woven material it's got a nice padding to it. Something else that's really nice about these is that, is that the laptop sleeve and the tablet sleeve don't actually touch the bottom of the bag. And by that, I mean, they don't go all the way down so that when you set your bag down, it's actually keeping you, keeping a nice buffer for you so that your, you know, the ground's not hitting your expensive laptop or tablet or whatever it is. So that's just a nice extra feature that kind of shows off the thought and build quality that went into this bag. Yeah, other than that, just a basic, you know, sort of opening. Let's start to get into, you know, the sorts of things that I carry in here. First things first, I'll actually grab this water bottle. So you can see it's right there in that sleeve. And this is a Nalgene, uh, pretty basic. It's got the on the fly top. It's got a nice little lock and push button so you can open it. And I didn't have it locked just now, but usually when I put it in my bag, I just throw this lock on it so there's no chance of it accidentally opening and spilling on your electronics that are in there, so. This thing's great. Yeah, not much else to say. It's a good water bottle. Next up, we'll get into this right here. So this right here is actually the case for my mouse, which is empty because my mouse is right here. 
This is the Logitech MX Master 3S mouse. I take this back and forth between work and for home because as I'll get into my work laptop, it's actually a Windows laptop and my home laptop is a MacBook. So these are great because they work for both. And then you got obviously the different modes that you can set them to. So I can set it to up to three devices. So I have it for my home laptop, my work laptop, and then also my iPad. This thing's amazing changed my life. I never thought I'd like a mouse so much, but here I am liking this mouse. Next up, I just got a dual USB charger. This is the Ugreen uh, fast charger. And this thing's really great. It's really solid. It's a, a GAN charger, if that means anything to you. I just learned about this, but it's just more efficient so it can be smaller and you know better. But yeah, I throw this in there, charge my phone, my laptop, my iPad, or you know any other USB-C style devices next up i have this magpul daca pouch this is actually made for a suppressor like for a firearm um if you don't know magpul and you don't know their daca line these things are amazing um they're like a really high quality poly sort of material but they're amazing i got them everywhere i got them you know i keep on extra camera gear this one's a transparent one cords whatever it is they're great for you know throwing things that you don't know where to put i just stick them in there i got five of them in my truck and my other car. So I got this size specifically because it fits perfectly in this pocket. It keeps everything nice and compressed. And one of the things I love about these, they just hold their shape really well. Okay, what I got in here, I got my uh, USB-C to USB-C for my iPad, USB-C to lightning for my phone, another USB-C charger, USB three to USB-C adapter. I also got the bit kit for my Leatherman Skeletool, which I'll get to later on. These things are awesome. I use these actually much more than I thought I would. Wish the uh, shell that it's sitting in was a little bit stronger because mine snapped, but also really. And then I just got a little microfiber cloth in there for cleaning my stuff. Pretty much covers that. All right, next up, we got this other pocket right in here. First off, I have a flashlight. I usually like to keep a flashlight, if not in my bag, in my car, or I got a bunch at the house as well. But this is the Olight Baton 3. These things are great. They got a magnetic bottom. It's got a magnetic charger, so it just pops right on and sits down. It's got a bunch of different light modes. Just super, super bright for such a small light. We live out kind of in the country, so it gets very dark at night. And we let our animals out, and I'm always just bringing this out with me. I like to have it in the bag. If it's not in the bag, it's in my car. Next up, we have Leatherman Skeletal. So this is multi-tool. If you're not familiar with Leatherman or Skeletals, you should just get one. I'm just gonna say it right now. This thing might be the most used thing that I have. It's great, it's got a great set of pliers, some snips right in there as well. And then Phillips head screw, flat head screw. And then obviously I have all those bits that you know have different sorts of bit tips. And then it's got a nice knife on it. It's got a serrated and flat edge knife, which I personally like. I think they're more useful for you know how I tend to use them. It's got a nice carabiner clip on here, which is also a bottle opener, which I use all the time to open, you know, Topa Chico's or beers, whatever it is. So this thing is one of my favorite things that I've ever owned. Next up is my like kind of spare card wallet. So it's got like Costco cards, backup Home Depot card and the card multi-tool right there. So I just throw this in here because I don't like to carry a bunch of cards on me. I have a pretty minimalist wallet, which I also carry in here. All this stuff will be linked below. So, all right, next up is kind of a backpack. Well, I actually keep this in my backpack more than I actually carry it on me because I always have my backpack on me. I'm at a desk for most of the day, so I don't really like to have things in my pockets all day, so I just throw it in my backpack. But this is the Travax Ascent Wallet. It is this nice combo of metal and leather, um, sort of a minimalist type wallet. I keep two cards up front, what is it, four cards in the back, my health cards, all those sorts of things. Um, it's got a pull tab here, so you can just pull it up, get access to the rest of your cards. And then obviously you just push up your cards up here. And then if I am carrying cash, which I rarely ever am, there's a little cash slip in the back, so. Yeah. And then the last thing that's in this pocket is the Apple AirPods Pro second generation. These things are amazing. I was never really on the AirPod train. And I was like, you know, I'll give them a shot. I was using these Bose headphones that I wasn't in love with. And man, 
these are great especially if you have different apple products already they just transition seamlessly back and forth between your ipad or your computer or your phone or whatever it is that's really really great and they're really really great for taking calls which i do all day love having these they've kind of become very essential to my everyday time to get into the uh the big electronics first off i have my work computer so this is an hp Pro book. I docked this at a monitor at my office. Yeah, if I, if I didn't give a little bit of background earlier, so I work from basically seven to 5 p.m. every single day actually in an office. So that's why having kind of a home base of a backpack is super important and super useful, I have found. But yeah, this is a HP Pro book. Um, it's a great little laptop. I'm more of a fan of Macs myself, but for what we do at work, this is definitely the way to go. So this thing's been great for me, honestly. Another great thing about this bag is I just showed you my work laptop, which is I think probably like a 13-ish inch laptop, but that's what I use for work. What I use personally, if I'm taking this to a coffee shop or traveling with it or doing something of that nature is my 16 inch M1 MacBook Pro. So as you can tell, this fits perfectly a smaller laptop as well as the full size 16 inch laptop. Um, with no problem, you know, it keeps it nice and safe in there. So yeah, if I'm not working, doing something else, traveling, whatever it is, this is the laptop I have with me. This thing's amazing. I have never had a laptop that actually, I feel like did what I thought it should do as far as being able to, you know, multitask or edit videos or anything. It seems like you were always fighting something. This thing is absolutely amazing. It's a complete game changer, which you know, if you do even five minutes of research on these things, you can see that everybody's saying the same thing. So, yep. Next up is one of my recent favorites added to my everyday carry, and that is a M1 iPad Air. Yeah, let me take this thing out of its case real quick. This is the M1 iPad Air. I got it in the blue color, which I think looks really nice. It's like a darker blue than they've had in the past. This thing's great. I've started to really use it for everything. Scheduling, organization at work, scripting, these sorts of videos, just generally making notes throughout the day. This thing has been my go-to. Now I just take it with me everywhere, whether I'm traveling or whether I'm doing anything. It's so light and so convenient. And the case I have it in is the ESR hybrid case. So it's got this nice hard shell that you can remove as well as this magnetic folio style sort of case. You got the hard shell you can remove and then just magnets back on. And then you got this nice magnetic folio style, which is really, really great. And then obviously you got the iPad, you gotta have the Apple Pencil. Gen 2, this thing's absolutely amazing. Game changer. And then the bottom of the bag, we're starting to run out of stuff here. I keep chargers obviously for my laptop and then something that i usually carry especially for personal use um not so much for work use but is my gun so this is a glock 19 in a holster that i made myself it's got a sidecar and i usually just stick it down in there and then once this thing's packed down another thing i love about this bag is that nothing shifts around and when i'm not carrying that on me i just stick it in the bottom of the bag i almost forgot this is sort of an honorable mention because I don't, I probably carry it 25% of the time is the MX mechanical mini keys. And the reason I carry these is for mostly my iPad. I don't really like having the attached keyboard on the iPad. I've just found that I don't use it enough to really justify that. And then when I do want to use it, I always want to like pull the keyboard back, push my iPad further away from me. So I can, you know, it just seems more comfortable that way. Yeah, these things are great. I'm not a huge mechanical keyboard nerd, but as far as I can tell, I enjoy typing on it. So I think it looks pretty sharp too. So yeah, it's kind of, they made them smaller and slimmer. So it's a little bit easier to travel with, um, which I said, I don't do all the time, but when I do, this is my go-to. So that pretty much covers everything that I carry in my everyday backpack. Like I said, I love making these sorts of videos. Um, I really enjoy watching these sorts of videos. So if you feel the same, please like and subscribe. I'll link everything that I mentioned in this video down below. Leave a comment, you know, some things that you change, any ideas that you got for me to add to mine. One thing that's fun about EDC stuff is it's never really perfect. It might be perfect for you in that time, but you can always sort of evolve and change and improve it. I look forward to, you know, doing more of these sorts of things on this channel. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe and I uh, appreciate you guys for watching. And yeah, thank you.